Hi, my name is Erica. I am a trainer at Wagon Tails Dock Activity Center. And like many of you, I am also a parent. Uh, this is my son, Isaac. Hi. He's home from school these days, like many of your kids. So we figured we would show you how to safely incorporate your kids into your dog's regular enrichment routine using some things that you may already have at home. The first thing that we're going to show you is a actually a store-bought puzzle toy. Um, go ahead, Isaac. So our dog will actually only eat out of her puzzle toy for her meals. So this has become part of our daily routine. Isaac will feed her her breakfast with the toy, set it up, and then reset it later for dinner. Um, but if you don't happen to have one of those at home, you can also use a cardboard egg carton. Make sure it's cardboard, not styrofoam, because the styrofoam can be dangerous not only for your dog, but also for your kids. But you would fill it up much the way that I was filling up the uh, store-bought puzzle toy with treats or kibble. Close it up and then your dog either has to figure out how to open it or some go straight to destroying it. So you might only have one or two as backups. Uh, the next thing we're going to use is a toilet paper or paper towel roll. Hopefully you guys have some of those at home. We're going to fold up one end like this and then we're going to fill it with things on the other end. So, and then, a little more, okay. And then we're going to fold it up so it looks like this. So if you don't have a treat dispensing toy at home, this is a good substitute. The dogs have to figure out how to open it to get the food out. Um, the more enticing the food, the harder they're going to try. Uh, the last thing we're going to show you is called a towel burrito. This is especially good for younger children. Um, we're going to have Isaac Sprinkle some food and some treats over the towel. Yeah, let's get some here. I suggest using dry treats. Um, the cheese can also be incorporated. And we're going to roll it up like a burrito. Alright, yeah. <laughs> So Isaac's a little bit older, so he can do this himself, but um, it's a good way to teach your kids how to be a part of your dog's enrichment routine safely. Um, the most important thing is to not only supervise your dog with any enrichment activity, but to also supervise your children and your dogs when together to make sure everybody's getting along and everybody's communicating safely. If you have any other questions or want any more information, please go to our website. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep wagging